Hello and welcome to Fluke Fridays. Today what we are going to talk about is volt pins. Two different volt pins from Fluke and what are the differences and why one might be better for you than the other. So we're going to jump right into it. Let's look at these and talk about the packaging and a little bit about them. So before we open them what you can see here is you've got volt alert. Both are volt alerts. That's Fluke's volt pin and you have the 2AC model and the 1AC-2 model and right here if we look at the description we kind of see the big difference uh, this one is advertising it has with sound so it has sound and this one says always on and that's really the main difference between these um, I will open them up and we'll kind of go through them a little bit but this is what they look like in the package always on comes in the red packaging the 2AC and then uh, with sound, the beeping ability is uh, the 1AC-2 in the green packaging. So let's open it up and get to it. Okay, we're gonna pop this open. Let's see what comes in on. Some kind of a quick start guide here, telling you how to use it. And then some instructions. I think the same thing in this one as well. Yep, quick start guide, instructions. So these are our two units, side by side, and what you're getting. Okay, so what are the differences in these? Uh, this one is the one with sound and it has a power button. This one is the one that was advertised as always on and it still has a button but you see it says it's a battery check button. So this is only to make sure you have a battery. So you push this down, lights up and you see you have a battery. Um, you can see it's always on if I you know give it some static electricity I can make it flash for us. Um, so it's fluke right there one thing that I'll highlight with this and why a lot, a lot of folks like it is because of the form factor. You can see this one is circular. Uh, the 2AC is circular versus the 1AC-2 is more of a square form factor. Sometimes people like the way that fits in pockets and various things more. And they like the fact that they don't have to turn it on. So that's the big advantage. Both of these units cost the same. Um, I'm not sure what the, the cost is today on them. but. I'll tell, the, tell you that maybe later in the video or I'll flash it up. Um, but So it's really what you care about. You're not going to save money on one or the other. But this one, like I said, the form factor, smaller, always on. This one is probably our more popular one. Um, you hold that down, it'll turn on. You heard it beep for a second. I don't know if I can make it beep without an extension cord. Let me see if I can... You can hear that. Um, sorry, I don't have an extension cord up here, but maybe I'll take it down and show you guys. But this is, um, again, a little bigger. It's the square form factor. Um, and the big advantage is that it has uh, a beep. So you can hear it, right? You can, you can hear this one if you're not in a noisy environment. A lot of times people are in a noisy environment so it really doesn't matter. But if you're not in a noisy environment or if you're in your house and you want to shove this into an outlet and then go to another room and flip a breaker or something and try to hear that beep, your house has to be pretty quiet. You can't have any kids running around. But that's possible. Um, but that, that's kind of the difference between these two. And which one should you choose? Well, if turning it on and off is not an inconvenience for you, then and you like the form factor and you want to hear sound, then the 1AC-2 is your clear option. Um, if, on the other hand, you prefer a slimmer form factor around and you don't want to be worried about is my meter on or off um, and you can't hear it anyway because you're a loud, noisy environment, then the uh, 2AC would be a better option for you. So. Both have the same category rating, both have the same sensitivity. We can see it right here. 90 to 1000 volts AC, CAT4 rated. Um, so anyways, both great options from Fluke. 
and both going to be the same price point. So, anyways. So what we're gonna go over now is I'm showing you how the 1AC-2 works, as well as I'm gonna show you the 1AC and kind of the differences. You can see the beep with the 1AC, whether you stick it in an outlet or hold it up to an energized circuit or an energized wire. What I'm gonna do at the end of this video though, is I am actually going to give away one of the 1ACs and one of the 2ACs. So if you can leave in the comments below, if you would prefer the 1AC or the 2AC, that would be wonderful. Also, take this time to share this video with your friends or anybody you think might be interested in this because I am going to do the drawing to give it away after the video has seen at least 250 views then I'll choose from one of the comments and mail you guys one of the one ACs and one of the two ACs for the two winners. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great Friday and you take care.